can women experience multiple types of orgasms? What is the relationship between self-esteem and sexual pleasure? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, women can experience multiple types of orgasms, such as clitoral, vaginal, and mixed orgasms. Orgasmic experiences vary based on stimulation and individual response. Positive self-esteem is linked to a more satisfying sexual experience by fostering confidence in the body, personal acceptance, and open communication with the partner. This facilitates exploration and experimentation in intimacy. In contrast, low self-esteem may be associated with anxieties that negatively affect the quality of sexual life. Sexuality in Kama Sutra culture, the Kama Sutra, an ancient Hindu text on love and sexuality, provides a detailed insight into sexual positions and erotic techniques. Despite its fame, the Kama Sutra promotes a balanced view of love and pleasure. Sexuality in literature and art. Sexuality has been a recurring theme in literature, art, and music throughout history, reflecting the attitudes and values of different times and cultures. Short hair fetishism involves a particular attraction to people with short hair, either for their aesthetic appearance or fetishistic associations. Skin fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal by touching, caressing, or even licking another person's skin. This fetish may be related to tactile sensation and physical intimacy. Sleep paralysis is a terrifying experience where a person temporarily wakes up unable to move. Occasionally, people report sexual experiences during these episodes. Social stigma. Despite its prevalence, pornography remains a stigmatized topic in many societies, which can hinder open and honest discussion about its impacts and practices. In South Korea, sexual education focuses on preventing internet and pornography addiction, as well as promoting healthy relationships and consent in a context of high academic and social pressure. Standing positions. Although less common, some women enjoy standing sexual positions, such as against the wall or leaning standing, which can add an element of adventure and risk to the sexual experience. Stress and anxiety. Stress and anxiety can contribute to premature ejaculation, creating a vicious cycle where concern about performing well during sex can worsen the problem. Submission and domination fantasies. Submission and domination fantasies involve sexual roles where one person takes on the submissive role while the other person exerts control and domination. These fantasies can be explored safely through consensual role-playing. Syphilis, a sexually transmitted disease caused by the bacterium Treponema pallidum, has experienced a resurgence in recent years in several countries, especially in urban populations and among men who have sex with men technological fetishism. With the advancement of technology, new fetishes related to electronic devices have emerged, such as attraction to sex robots or excitement over virtual reality. The connection between love and sex. Although love and sex are closely related for many people, not all sexual encounters involve romantic feelings. Sex can be both an expression of love and a pleasurable physical activity. The effect of stress on libido Chronic stress can negatively impact libido. The release of stress hormones can reduce sexual desire. Finding ways to manage stress, such as meditation or exercise, can help improve libido. The heart during orgasm. Orgasm can significantly accelerate your heart rate. In some cases, the heart rate can reach 180 beats per minute during an orgasm. However, note that this does not replace regular physic. The impact of culture on sexuality. Culture plays a significant role in shaping attitudes, beliefs, and sexual practices. What is considered acceptable or taboo in terms of sexuality can vary significantly from one culture to another. The importance of consent. Mutual consent is fundamental in any sexual activity. 
all parties involved must give their consent freely and consciously before engaging in any sexual activity. The importance of touch, physical contact, such as hugs and massages, releases oxytocin, the love hormone, promoting emotional bonding and intimacy in relationships. The influence of religion on sexuality. Religious teachings and cultural norms can have a significant impact on attitudes towards sexuality and its expression. Some religions have specific restrictions on sexual activity, while others promote sexuality as a sacred aspect of the human experience. The internal clitoris. The clitoris is not just the small visible button at the top of the vulva. It has an internal structure that extends into depth. Stimulation of the internal clitoris can be an additional source of pleasure for some women. The prevalence of sexual disorders. Sexual disorders, such as erectile dysfunction or hypoactive sexual desire disorder, are common and can affect people of all ages and genders. The role of female pleasure. For a long time, female sexual pleasure has been overlooked or minimized compared to male pleasure. However, recognizing and valuing female pleasure is essential for equitable and satisfying sexuality for all individuals. The sexual response cycle. The sexual response cycle, which includes the phases of excitement, plateau, orgasm, and resolution, can vary in duration and experience for each individual and in different sexual contexts. Toys designed for anal sex. There are sex toys specifically designed for anal sex, with shapes and features that maximize pleasure and minimize the risk of injuries. Toys for seniors. There are sex toys specifically designed for older adults, taking into account the needs and physical limitations that may arise with age. Transient anorgasmia. In some cases, anorgasmia may be transient and resolve on its own without the need for treatment, especially if it is related to temporary situations of stress or anxiety. Trichomoniasis. It is one of the most common STDs, caused by the protozoan parasite Trichomonas vaginalis and can cause vaginal discharge, itching, and pain during urination. People who have multiple sexual partners or engage in unprotected sex are at higher risk of contracting sexually transmitted diseases. The use of condoms is one of the most effective ways to reduce this risk. Vacuum devices. Vacuum devices are a treatment option for erectile dysfunction that involves a plastic cylinder placed over the penis and pumped to create a vacuum, helping to increase blood flow to the penis and produce an erection. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.